Hey guys, it's Tasha and Tango, and we hope you guys are having a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. It's actually Christmas Eve night, and we wanted to bring you a little video about choosing the appropriate size prey for your ball python. So, just a little quick disclaimer, I'm not an expert or professional or any of those things. Uh, this is just my experience and my opinions and a couple things that I wish I would have known um, in the beginning of, you know, my snake keeping career, if you will. So, this video is going to be about um, choosing the appropriate size prey for your ball python. So, let's get started. Tango is going to be our like exhibit A or our model for this demo. Okay, so you want to take your ball python. Hopefully you've handled him enough um, to where this isn't going to bother him and you don't get bit. So hold him up like this and you want to find the girthiest and fattest part of your snake. And his would be about like right there. Well, like right here. And some people say find prey that is exactly that size. And some people say find prey that is like a little bit bigger than that. And that's exactly what I do. This guy eats frozen thawed adult mice. And please do not be fooled by their cute little head that we all fall in love with and their skinny little neck. Um, that can be very deceiving because these guys can take prey that's so much bigger than that. You'd really be surprised. Um, I also wanted to mention that um, if you have an older ball python that goes on a feeding strike, as many of you know if you watched my other video, um, my adult um, normal ball python, Alistair, went on a two month long feeding strike. He ate nothing and um, it was kind of scary for a minute, but then I realized he just, you know, had to do it. If you keep ball pythons for any amount of time really, you're, gonna, you're going to experience a feeding strike. So it's no big deal as long as your snake doesn't, you know, lose a whole lot of weight. So anyway, long story short, when a ball python goes on a feeding strike, their body and their metabolism, uh, especially, kind of, you know, slows way down, almost to stopping. So if your ball python eats, you know, big, huge rats, and then they go on a feeding strike for a couple months, when you first feed them, you don't want to give them like a huge rat that they were, um, that they used to be on because their body needs to slowly, slowly adapt back into feeding because they haven't fed for so long. So Alistair eats adult, um, adult rats and they're not huge. They're not jumbos or, you know, monsters or anything like that. Um, but they're pretty good sized rats. I mean, they're not small by any means. So when he came out of his little strike, um, and it was time to feed him, um, I fed him basically, um, a, a smaller, like kind of sub adult rat. So it wasn't a big adult and it wasn't, you know, like a baby or anything. It was, it was in the middle. So that got him, you know, used to eating again. And then the next time I feed him, I'll go up a little bit and up a little bit from there. And then pretty soon he'll be back on what he was eating before he went on the strike. And also it's so important. Once you find out the, um, the correct size to feed your ball python, you need to figure out a good feeding schedule that you can stay with because these guys consistency pays off so much with them. If you get the right kind of prey, size of prey, and you've got a good feeding schedule going, um, it gets consistent, they will grow like a little chia pet that you see on the infomercials. That's exactly what Tango and Bowie have done. Tango is actually three months old now, and he weighs 166.6 grams. And I think the regular weight for a three month old ball python is like 145. So he's a little above average. Um, he is a very, very hearty little snake. He's never refused a meal yet. So also, I wanted to know what your guys' um, feeding schedule is like, because I'm an animal nut and I love to see what other people do. Um, so like I love watching YouTube about what other people do, how their cages are set up, what they feed, how they feed. So I would love to hear in the comments, like, you know, what do you guys do? What do you feed? What size? What kind of routine do you have? Um, do you have any really good eaters? You know, anything like that that you want to share. Anything you ever want me to read, just put it in the comments and I will read it and respond. Also, um, you know, I put out new videos every Wednesday. Sometimes I'll do in-betweens like I had this week, but I will always, always, always put out a new video for you guys every Wednesday. So you have two options. The first video option that you can pick is me lightweight going berserk on Walmart workers for their, um, I guess you call it lack of care in any sort of way of the betta fish there. So I basically, I wouldn't say that I'm a big hero and I saved them all, but I definitely 
made their life a lot better before I was willing to leave. I was comfortable with the way they were going to be treated by the time I left. So that's the um, option one for the, for the Wednesday video. Option two is a video about how to get the perfect shed. If you want me to make a video about that, if you guys are wondering about that, how to get a perfect shed for your ball python, or really any snake, it's pretty universal, um, choose option two. Um, but I, would, I really want you guys to pick, because I mean, I can pick, yeah, but that's not as fun. I want to see what you guys want, and like I always say, this channel is just as much your guys' as it is mine. Um, so I'm curious what you guys want to know, what questions, and all that stuff, and about your snakes. So, we hope that you guys have very happy holidays, safe holidays, safe for you and your pets, and we will see you, mm, we'll probably see you before Wednesday, but we'll definitely see you Wednesday. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I post new videos every single Wednesday, and I will always have one of my little babies in the video. If you want to see a specific animal, let me know in the comments. Thanks, guys. Happy holidays. Bye, Tango.